young leaders, artists, and activists, and they are kicking off National Teen Dating Violence Prevention and Awareness Month. We are calling you and the entire community to come together and stop the violence. Your soul shining through those brown eyes, stay mine. Till the beauty of our dreams don't have to end. Meet me in the heavens we thought of but never said. I'm your angel in the wind, can't you see? I'll always be here. Thank you. Woo. I really want to express to young girls that if it's not good, if he's not loving you the way that he should love you, if he's not being a man and being respectful of you, you can leave. And um, there are plenty of guys out here, and for guys, there are plenty of girls out here. So different frogs of pain with different strokes, but the pictures are always beautiful. horrible, saddening event, and that's Trayla, the death of Trayla. That everything in our community froze. Froze. And what happened is our district, our superintendent, the school board, everyone in this community came together and said, oh my God, what have we got to do? We've got to do something to make a difference within, within schools. We are the public offenders. We are here. We do fight against domestic violence. Real crazy, but we fight against all oppression. Dating Abuse Helpline. I just want to say I'm blown away by the talent and the energy. I'm feeling really inspired. I just want everyone to know that Love is Respect is the National Dating Abuse Helpline. We're based here in Austin. It's a confidential way you can talk to someone through the web. You can chat with someone, you can text, with, text, text us, or you can call us. So we're giving you three ways to communicate. <laughs> Juliet, what's your favorite color? What do you dream about at night? What's your middle name? <laughs> <laughs> Grimio. With 4,000 seconds. Our courtship flew so swiftly. I just, I want to get to know you. The real you. Let's start over from the beginning. I'm scared to be in love. I'm afraid to end up alone. I wanted to believe you. I just, just want to fit in. in. I was never popular before high school. I never wanted a relationship with my parents had. I never had any real friends. If I could start over, I would. 
We make mistakes. Can we repair the damage? Can we forgive each other? Can we learn to see a pee on the surface? There's, There's so, so much pressure to be someone. someone. I am an advocate. I am a school-based counselor. I, I do, do what, what I, I do because. because. Growing up, fighting was my survival tactic. I do what I do because I know that words can sting just like a fist and sometimes worse. I do what I do because I saw women hit men and then lie and tell police that it was the other way around. I do what I do because like you, when I was in middle school, I saw my best friend hit his girlfriend and didn't know what to do or who to talk to. I do what I do because I'm a survivor of teen dating violence. I do what I do because when I was in high school, one of my good friends shot and killed his girlfriend. I do what I do because I have been ashamed, angry, bitter, and depressed. I do what I do because I have been controlled and I have been a controller. I do what I do because you can be a victim more than once. I do what I do because I have been judged, so I will not judge anyone for who they love, even if their partner is the same sex as they are. I do what I do because after reporting to the police, justice still wasn't served. I do what I do because I quote, not only do I have hope, but I also have expectations. I'm an advocate. I am a school-based counselor. Diamond in the rough, you don't wanna play no games with me. That's right, tell them. wanna play no games with me. That's what y'all need to tell them. wanna play no games Yeah, to you, yo. And yeah, if love ain't love, if you ain't using the glove. And love ain't love if you holding a grudge. So I suggest that you get yourself out of this bed. Cause them outside cats could only care less. The only thing that he wants is what's under your dress. He's traumatized in your mind. Yo, I feel like I'm the only dude showing respect. Hey, I know it probably like 